Hi, today I'm going to show you really quickly how to take dahlia cuttings. It's a great way to get uh, plants for free. Uh, these dahlias here I potted up in February, March time. Um, they're now ready to go out in the garden, it's late May. Uh, but before I put them out, um, I'm going to try and make these in stockier plants and get plants for free by taking cuttings. I'll just quickly show you, if you're first time nervous about doing propagation, um, this is just something you really need to see so you don't worry about the parent plant. Here you can see I've pinched out a growing tip, such as that one there, and from that up pop these two shoots. So rather than having one leader with a bunch of flowers at the top, I've now got two, double the amount of flowers. So that gives you the confidence to have a go at the parent plant, not worry about that, and get some plants for free. So. The best way to get a dahlia cutting is to be able to go in, if you just come up here, and take it out right down the bottom by this brown tuber, because then you'll have lots of lovely uh, hormones on it which help it to um, shoot. So I could probably take that one off. There's a little bit of the tuber there. That will root really easily, so I've got one cutting there. But I'm also going to have a go at this one here. Very tall plant, this. And if you imagine it planted in the garden, it's going to could rock about, get unwieldy, and you reduce the number of flowers. So if I just take this one out here, that's my cutting material. Now that's quite a big um, cutting there. What you do, pull the leaves off the bottom, don't need those, take a sharp knife and go in below this leaf node, that's where the leaves are coming out. Take a neat cut across the bottom there, and that's your cutting. Now this bit looks really cruel, but it's really important that you do it. You need to reduce the amount of leaves up here. So just go in with a light knife, cut across, and I've reduced the amount of leaf area. That's really important because the root, the shoot has no roots at all to absorb water. So if you have leaves, they're transpiring into the atmosphere, losing water, that could die. So reduce the amount of leaf surface area, you're giving that cutting a much better chance of surviving. Get a pot, plastic one, or this is a clay one, fill it with some compost. Make a little hole at the side, poke in your cutting. That is all you have to do. I'll quickly do this other one whilst I'm here that I did the other plant. Again, just reduce the surface area of the leaves. This one, because I took it from the tuber, I'm not going to cut it across the leaf node. Poke it in. Two free plants. Obviously they need watering in. Not too much, you don't want them to rot. And then you leave them there and wait for them to root. And you know when they've rooted when they start uh, growing from this, these tips here. I'll just quickly show you these ones that I did yesterday. So bear in mind these have no roots at all and yet they're absolutely fine in this fairly warm greenhouse without the roots and I'm fairly confident that those will root and we'll have two plants there. There you go. Give it, a, give it a go. Really important that you just try it. What have you got to lose? This plant's not been damaged. I'll have more flowers and hopefully I'll have two free plants.